Welcome to the video tutorial of Easy Burp, a desktop-based restaurant management software. In this video, we will learn how to create an intermediate item and manufacture it. Intermediate goods are items that are used to create another product. In other words, they are inputs in other products or the ingredients of finished goods. These are not the items which are displayed on menu. To create the intermediate item, raw materials are required. For example, let pizza be the menu item in which the intermediate item pizza sauce is used, which is made of tomatoes, salt, chili powder, ginger garlic paste, herbs, oil, pepper, etc. Let's create this intermediate item in Easy Burp and understand it practically. To create an intermediate item, go to Easy Burp Back Office. Select the store on which the intermediate item needs to be created. On the left hand side select the store. Item configuration. Store items. New. Enter all the details related to the intermediate item. Here we are taking an example of pizza sauce. Enter the intermediate item name, pizza sauce. Select the unit, cup, from the drop down menu. This unit will be the base unit, most of the report shows the stock in base unit. Add item code, item code is a unique ID assigned to each item. This is optional. Select or add the item category on which this intermediate will lay, in this case sources is selected as the item category. Select the vendor priority wise, from where the item needs to be purchased. Check mark on is intermediate item check box. If this box is checked mark then only it will be considered as an intermediate item. Let's go through three bifurcated tab. To activate the intermediate item in particular stores, select the store from the list and click on activate. After activating the intermediate item in store it can be edited. Click on edit to add opening stock. Minimum quantity. Maximum quantity, purchase rate, taxes, and click on save. For intermediate items, define the base unit only and there is no need to add the conversion factor. As the intermediate item will be prepared in one unit only, select the unit, click on edit to edit the unit. Click on delete to delete the unit. Please note the base unit cannot be deleted. Bill of material, all the items, which are used to make this intermediate item are defined over here. Bill of material is used to manage inventory consumption, and this needs to be managed for the intermediate, or semi-finished goods like tomato ketchup, or pizza dough. BOM helps to track all the items which are being used to make a particular item. Once the BOM is added, the inventory stock of the listed BOM items will be updated automatically when the store item is used. In pizza sauce, tomatoes, salt, chili powder, ginger garlic paste is required. Add each item one by one with unit and quantity to be used to make one cup pizza sauce. Add tomatoes, select unit, select quantity. In the same way add other items also. Thus, whenever one cup pizza sauce is manufactured, the BOM items will be reduced from the stock automatically. Click on save after adding all the required details. Once the intermediate item, pizza sauce is created the chef manufactures it. They need to manufacture the same in Easy POS back office. To manufacture the item, go to Easy POS back office. Select the store on which the intermediate item needs to be manufactured. On the left hand side select the store. Inventory transaction. Manufacturing. Under manufacturing tab, select the date on which item is being manufactured. The order number is T auto generated, unique order ID for this particular manufacturing item, which the user is going to perform. Here, user will get a list of those items for which BOM is set in the intermediate item configuration. 
Enter item name to search it in the below list. Select the unit in which the, the intermediate item is going to get manufactured. Add the quantity, that is for how much quantity the item is to be manufactured. Add remarks if required. The user can also manufacture multiple items at one go. Click on add to manufacture the items thus, the items will be manufactured and all the BOM items stock will also be deducted accordingly. Click on correction. Here the list of all manufactured items from EZPOS back office will be displayed. The user can select date filter, the order number, or item name, and click on search, to search the manufactured item. The list will be displayed below. The user can delete the manufactured items from by selecting the item and clicking on delete. The user can fetch a report by selecting Manufactured Item and clicking on Report. In case if user wishes to do operation in bulk, the user can select all the items from the list, by clicking on, Select All and then, Fetch Report or, Delete the Manufactured Items. This is how the user can create the intermediate item and manufacture it. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any queries or feedback, kindly contact our 24-7 live chat support.